Hello, all my dear Sagittarian friends. This is Maxine Taylor, and I have your August astrological forecast right here. Let's talk about it, okay? Shall we just get right to the point of what, let's just call it the elephant in the room, okay? Yes, Venus is retrograde, and Mercury is in the shadow of the retrograde, until the 23rd when it too goes retrograde and together they are the tag team now when <clears throat> for those of you who may not know when a planet goes retrograde it appears to be moving backwards in the heavens and that's how it feels here on earth when venus is retrograde it feels just like a mercury retrograde everything is confused we do not begin new projects on a retrograde Venus or a retrograde Mercury because they will have to either be redone within the year or they'll fizzle out completely. So what do we do? We tie up the loose ends of unfinished pro projects <clears throat> such as um, do you have a tree that you bought? couple of months ago and it's still living but you haven't put it in the ground that would be an unfinished project um are you writing a book finish it up during this retrograde period okay do you start a new job during a retrograde mercury or venus no you don't because you want it to last now you might say well i have to have a job to pay my bills then what you do is you take the job that is offered you, knowing that there can easily be a change in that during the year, which would be great. And it gives you the opportunity to move forward and upward. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. All right, the sun is the yellow planet. The sun is the giver of life. It's the center of our universe. It is in the ninth house, which is your natural house of the higher mind. Principles, concepts, your beliefs. Uh, it, it's a gorgeous house. Long distance communication and correspondence. On the 23rd of the month, the sun enters your 10th house of career and public image. And you are in the limelight and this is a time when your leadership qualities can be expressed which is really cool now venus is retrograde in that ninth house so if you're planning on going back to school because the ninth house is higher education you may find that there's something about the course or courses you have selected that really don't jive with you and so with venus retrograde don't be surprised if you decide to change courses, literally, on both levels, so to speak. Okay, when the sun moves into your 10th house of career um, on the 23rd, that's when Mercury goes retrograde in your 10th house on the 23rd. So it's a really big day for the career. Um, and so... Be aware there can be changes or confusion in your leadership position. Remember, Mercury will not be retrograde forever. Now, Mars, the red planet, this is what we fight with and fight for. That's what's number one with us. With Mars in the 10th house, you're moving upward. And you have been. On the 27th, Mars moves into your 11th house of friends and group activities and humanitarian projects. It is terrific. And so you're going to throw yourself into that, into your friendship circle, perhaps into humanitarian projects, which would be lovely. Jupiter, the greater benefic, is sitting in your sixth house of work, health, and service. Jupiter blesses you wherever it is in your chart. And so your job looks lovely. Does this mean you're supposed to run out there and get a new one? My suggestion would be that you not do that. 
but the choice is yours. If you do a new job, if you start a new job, look at it from the standpoint of a temporary position and uh, a leap upward and onward at some point during the year. Your health looks good and your job picture looks good. I love it. Okay, we have a full moon on August 1st in nine Aquarius. Um, it's in your third house of the conscious mind. And so this is you uh, talking about your ideas. On the full moon, things come to a head. And in the third house of siblings, there can be communication with a sibling, number one, or it can simply be you expressing your ideas. Super, do it. Now, we have the moon starts waning after the full moon, and we have a new moon on the 16th of August in 23 degrees of Leo. It's in that ninth house of the higher mind, and so there can be a new start on the new moon. Okay? Again, don't, if you can possibly avoid it, tie up the loose ends of unfinished projects before starting new ones. And we'll talk about that next month. Okay. Then two weeks later, we've got another full moon. On August 31st, in seven degrees of Pisces, it's in your fourth house of home, family, and real estate. So while the new moon says, I want to get on a plane and uh, spread my wings and soar, the full moon says, I think I want to stay home and enjoy hearth and home. So I hope you have a marvelous um, August and that you'll join me next month. And I'll carry you through the uh, Mercury Direct and Venus Direct. Until we meet again, this is Maxine Taylor saying, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.